Okay. All right. So today, all I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do the decorative techniques. We're not going to do the building of the box just yet. Okay. Then you're going to be looking at pictures. And you're going to be just kind of starting the plan process today, deciding what decorations you want to put on yours. So I have prepared here, you had seen in the demonstration that lots and lots of these, the only one that was really done on plastic clay was stamping. Uh, most of them are actually done on leather hard clay. So I'm going to show you these techniques and just kind of how I did them so you can think about what you want to do. Now, first thing I should point out, let me get this out. Let me get this out too, because I want to show you the difference between plastic and leather hard. So again, I'm always keeping my clay um, in the bag when I'm not using it, because if it's in, sitting out in the air, it's drying. This little thing right here, I know a lot of you guys were, are struggling, and I am sorry I'm not right there right behind you to, to watch, um, but this, so a lot of you are struggling with your clay drying out. So, and I've been teaching you how to reclaim your clay. This is just a paper towel and it is very wet. This was a piece of clay, just a little crumb that I had that had dried all the way to greenware. So when it gets dry, if I want to recycle it and use it again, I'm putting it in the wet towel and then I'm kind of covering it and then putting it in the plastic bag and that slowly introduces the moisture back into the clay to the point where I could squish it and it became plastic again. So if you're having stuff dry out and you want to reuse it, you can. Don't throw it away. That's the trick that I use. But I always put it in paper towel and then in a plastic bag because if I don't put it in the plastic bag, the moisture from the paper towel is going to go into the air and not into the clay. So I want that. All right, so let me just show you. Look. I'm going to show you stamping first just because I want to show you the difference and really how leather hard your stuff needs to be. So with your stamping, you're going to be doing that one in plastic clay. So what you guys are going to want to do, oh, I got that real sticky, that clay, is when you have your slab rolled out and you may, like when I did mine, my sample, I stamped the slab before I put the piece together. Um, that is a little tricky because you have to not damage the stamp as you're working on the build. Um, but it can be done, I did it. Other people make the piece and then they press the stamp onto it before they let it dry to leather hard. Neither way is right or wrong, it's just a different approach. Okay, so here's my plastic clay and I can stamp whatever I want in there so I went on a little treasure hunt I told you this morning and I found an, a leaf which I kept in water because if you don't keep it in water it's going to dr get dry and crumbly so it won't stamp well for you if you use something like a leaf you'll notice that one side is smoother and the other side has more ridges I'm going to use the side that has more of an imprint um, I also picked up just like a piece of mulch basically from my garden so if I wanted to make more like a wood texture or something I could press that if I don't like my texture I can smooth it out and redo it I want to do a leaf take the rolling pin roll it in there And pull it out and I can get an imprint. Like that. So that's what's in my jar. Um, other things that I found to play with, I don't know how well they're going to work, but I stole my son's Legos. It can be anything that you can find. There's an artist by the name of Paul Soldner. He's a ceramic artist he's no longer with us but he used he got famous by taking his shoe off and stamping his um his shoe print in his clay so you can always see his and I always know he wears wearing Birkenstocks because you can tell what kind of the shoe print that leaves I'm kind of scared of getting this stuck so I'm not pushing too hard Lego not as successful but not bad getting a little polka dot there I also found bubble wrap that I could try 
I found this lid of a jar I thought could be maybe kind of fun if I rolled it in to make like a stripe. And I found some corrugated cardboard here, which I could lay in there and roll on there to try to make a pattern. So anything that you find that you push into the clay to make it, the texture is stamping, right? So that's option one. Now the reason I wanted to start with this is because I want to show you the difference between leather hard and plastic. Let me zoom out here. All right, so I prepared this lab yesterday, and I it's kind of hard for me to show you, but I want you to see that when I turn it, uh-oh, oh, oh you there. When I turn it, I can hold it in one hand and it doesn't get floppy, but it's not going to break really easily. If I were to take a chunk of this off, you can see it kind of bends, it doesn't snap, and I can kind of squish it. Okay, but this stuff that's plastic, if I try to hold it by one side, it like gets floppy. It's too squishy and therefore it's sticky and it won't be good for these other techniques. If this gets to the point where I, it is so hard that it has no flexibility to it, it's going to be really hard to do some of these techniques. It'll be just a little bit too hard. So this is about right where you want it. It's, sometimes potters describe this hardness as cheese hard. So if you have like a chunk of cheddar cheese um, and it's got that little bit of squish to it but it's firm, that's kind of what I'm looking for here. Okay? All right, so carving. Um, I, again, you're going to use the paper clip for your carving. And with carving, you're just going to use your loop tool. Now, you, we don't have more than one shape with the loop tools. We just have the rounded edge for now, but I could just do some stripes. You gotta be careful, I just hit a little air pocket there, so got a little bump. Um, you gotta be careful with the carving because you don't wanna go all the way through. So that's carving. Also with the paper clip, you can do I'm going to try to get both of these on screen so you can see. So I did like a little flower thing here. So carving. Also with the paper clip you can do the incising. So if I wanted to just do some designs. Now I will warn you with the paper clip. Um, you're going to get these little like sharp ends. So those are kind of sticky right now you can clean that up later once it gets really leather hard and they won't stick as much. But another thing I like to use that's maybe even better than a paper clip is a pencil. Just a regular pencil for incising. So I can just draw on it and make lines. Okay? So that's incising. Piercing means that you're going to use the pin tool to cut a hole all the way through. I will tell you that when you're um, piercing, you're not going to do it in, all in one pass. It puts too much stress on the clay. So when I pierce, I draw it first and then I go around it. A couple of times. until the piece pops out. I can clean up those edges a little bit later as well. Burnishing just means I'm going to take a spoon and I'm going to use the back of it and it just makes it really, really smooth. So you can see with burnishing, and it actually shows up better as it dries. This one shows a little bit better. You can see like as I turn this back and forth, the light catches it and it makes it kind of shiny. It's a little bit harder to see in this one that I just did because it hasn't dried yet. But that's burnishing. And then relief sculpture just means I'm going to take plastic clay and attach it. So if I want to attach a relief sculpture, I could do... 
scratch it with my pen tool. I could also scratch it with the rib tool. The thing is when I'm scoring and slipping, I want to get it gushy. It should it's clay glue. So if it doesn't look gluey and gushy, it's not enough. So I'm going to gush more. So I'm building up this slurry is another thing sometimes powder call it call it on the surface before I add my clay. Then I can take a ple a piece of soft plastic clay. and I can kind of press it on there and then I can clean it up I can do things like the guy and the the video or not the video but the little demonstration one I had he kind of like looted one side so it made it look like it was kind of like a leaf sticking off the surface a little bit flower leaf or something like that sticking off the surface where it's like blended in on one side and kind of sti sticking up on the other. So anything that pops out of the flat background is relief sculpture. It's done on leather hard clay. You add plastic. Okay. So I think I got them all. I got carving, incising, piercing, burnishing, relief sculpture, stamping. So those are your six. Okay. Questions? Do you guys want to see anything before I switch screens and show you where you're going to start your research? I'm looking, I'm looking. Everybody looks good. Okay, I'm going to switch screens then.